Now let's start creating base. We move to the proper view angle and start to create an L-shaped base. On the left side of the screen, select the type of base you need. There are two ways to select it. One is the search type, the other is select by folder. The search type is to select base by clicking the item you need, while select by folder is to select according to the directory. First, click the Search Type button. Choose the Base Unit and Corner Base Unit. Then, input relevant measurements. For example, change the depth from 400 to 300. Click Layout. Lean the cabinet against the column. Pay attention to the prompt here, which says push cabinet toward corner. Just press space bar. If you press space bar, the base will be pushed to the corner automatically. Secondly, let's design it with a double door base. Before that, click panel and fill a panel. Set the thickness to 50. The filler will make it easier to open the door. To extend this filler or wall to other units, click No. Next, we start to create a double door base. Select Relevant Measurement, click Layout, and put it in place. Then, on the left side of the base, we could create a two drawer space. Choose two drawer space. Input the proper data and click Layout. Similarly, if you want to create tall unit, just select relevant type, choose the type you need, and click OK. Then you can put the unit in proper place. After that, we could furnish appliances. For example, we select microwave oven. Click OK to confirm. Click Layout. Pay attention to the prompt below the cursor. Please select Holding Shelf Panel. Once we settle the bottom panel, the microwave oven will be created automatically. Next, we could furnish war units. Move the angle to proper place. And select war unit. Select the unit you need. Settle the specifications and click Layout. We could easily find out that the system offered the function of automatic measurement aid. The clear distance is 345, so we could furnish it with another base. Choose the base you need and change the data to 345 and put it in place. Next, we could design the worktop and install plinth. Click the tab here and it is created directly. Then let's furnish it with a unit. Here we could choose relevant base unit directly. Then by adding plinth and worktop. Choose base unit here, select a proper type, and input measurements. Click Layout, and put it in place. If you want to move its position, just double-click it. 
Then right-click it, select Copy, and copy it to another suitable position. Next, we need to lean the base unit on the right against the base unit on the left, back to back. So we could process it with an edge fix. Click Edge Fix. Select the facing edge of the unit. Choose an edge of this unit and drag it to overlap with the other edge here. Left click to confirm. And we could continue to copy this unit. Right click it to copy. Then the units are created. Similarly, click the tab to install the worktop and clean. Done.